this is my adjustable router table. It goes from vertical to horizontal and anything in between. I originally built it for some cabinet work on some odd angles I needed to spline together. Um, I also use it for columns um, to spline them together. Um, I also use it as a secondary router table if I have more than one procedure on a uh, routing project. Uh, as it is right now, it's flat, and I have a standard fence for like this. Um, I also have an adjustable fence for when it tips up. But this comes off, and to raise it, you loosen the front table up, slide it back just a little bit, and then you can move this in any position you want, up to 90 degrees. Now to show you a quick example of how it works, I'm going to make a small sample of a column. Um, I got a piece of plywood here. I cut 22 and a half degrees on either side. I'm going to route a groove on either side and cut it up into smaller pieces just for using as a sample piece. Um, first thing I do to uh, uh, get things lined up is I'll pick the table up and I want to try to get this at the same angle my cut is at. Just clamp it down. And then move the table. I need to raise the router up first. Next thing I want to do is I want to get about halfway up the length of the angle here uh, to run my spline in. So I'm going to lower the bit about a half way position there. And I'm cutting in about a quarter to five sixteenths of an inch deep. Now that I have that, I'm going to set this here. I'm going to put my adjustable back on here. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to set this fence up to about 90 degrees from the table. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but about 90 degrees. I'm going to clamp the fence with a turn. And what I'm trying to do is I'm going to run this board under the fence. This fence actually holds it down to the position I want. So I'm going to clamp this down. I don't want it too tight. I want it to just slide under there. Now that I've got it adjusted right, it slides just under there. I mean, there's just a very little bit of friction, but this is going to... Okay, it's set. It's ready to go. I'm going to cut a slot on both sides. Already do one on the other side. Let's cut it up and see how it fits together. Okay, I cut them into shorter pieces here so we can sample the uh, column putting one together. And I also cut some splines the same way. Normally I put glue in these, but just for quick purposes, I'll just slide this thing together.
there it is. Uh, if you get glue in there and clamp it, it'd be very strong. Mm -hmm.